Hey everybody, Cone here. It is May and that means it is channel update time. It's actually um, May 12th. <laughs> I'm a little late. Um, this month is not as crazy as last month, so I am really going to focus on getting back on schedule. Uh, when it comes to YouTube, I would like to... Uh, uh, my my average, my, my happy medium is like five videos a week. Lately it's been due to um, really not enough stuff to record. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of series, so I'd like to get back into a better rhythm of doing more consistent, you know, series kind of things. And uh, I've had a couple surprises here lately. Uh, Dirt Rally is one of them. I did a first impressions video, which I was pretty um, harsh on. Probably a little too harsh on it. It's actually really a fun game. I, uh, I spent a lot of time with it off camera really learning, well, learning rally, because I, I haven't done any kind of rally game in forever, and uh, just learning the way that the game drives right now. Uh, but the devs are doing a lot of active research with the community and whatnot, so I look forward to seeing how that game is going to develop. And uh, I think it'd be cool to kind of do a normal career Let's Play in it. Uh, I may also, I'm still in the fence, I may also just do stream only with Dirt Rally. I'm not sure. It took a long time to figure out how to get that game to to stream properly, but I think we got the kinks worked out of that. Obviously the cornerstone of the channel is automation, and we just surpassed episode number 75 in automation, which is a, a pretty staggering number, if you ask me. The Vector Automotive Challenge has just kind of gone through another, another phase, another year has gone by, uh, another model year that is. And we are starting up the new Vector Automotive Challenge fan build competition, uh, which is a lot different this time. I will put the link hopefully somewhere around here if you want details on how to enter. Uh, we do have a prize this time provided by uh, the developers of automation, uh, just a a t-shirt, an automation t-shirt, which is kind of cool because uh, you can't go out and buy an automation t-shirt as of right now. They are printed one at a time by those guys, so uh, to get that would be a pretty cool thing. You'd have something that you'd probably never see anybody else wear, so that's uh, that'd be pretty neat. So do check that out. I'm not really sure what the next step of that Let's Play is going to be. Uh, should I continue continue progressing through the years until we maybe hit the current uh, time period with the Vector Automotive Challenge, should I go back in time again. Right now I'm leaning towards it doing at least two more model years because uh, the 2008-2009 phase could be interesting. Uh, and then I think it would be interesting to build, uh, build a set of cars for this year. Uh, and there's certainly a lot of other kind of cars that we haven't built as a company yet, so there's that to consider too. So a lot of a lot of variability still in that series, and that's kind of what keeps it going uh, is having the options available to do other things, and not necessarily just keep building the same cars over again. Can I just say that I really love turbo noises? I really love turbo noises. Oh, and just a quick update on the on the car. I do. I still do really like this car. It is totally worth the the car payment and all that stuff. It's um it's been a joy to own so far. It's got it's got a lot of character, which uh, which means weird quirks. <laughs> um, but that's kind of that's kind of the way I like my cars. If I uh, if I wanted a perfect car, it would probably be a boring car. So uh, that's why I like it. Same same thing goes for 240s. They're they're hardly perfect cars, they have many flaws, uh, but it's the good parts that make you uh, really have fun with them. Okay, so just to roll through what else we have uh, going for our gaming videos, Spin Tires is going to continue, the co-op with me and Ducks. Uh, that one has a few more episodes left of that play session, and we do need to record a new one, which unfortunately we weren't able to do this weekend due to, uh, due to Ducks being sick. Why is there always, there's always dump trucks doing weird things on this road. <laughs> um, and then uh, beyond that, Racecraft, again, I was trying to keep that to be a weekly thing, and I will be trying to do that. Not that there's uh, too much demand for Minecraft videos out there, but I do really enjoy those. I'm probably forgetting something. Oh, iRacing. I have been 
very badly neglecting on racing this season. I will be starting with the next actual iRacing season. I will be starting up another charity challenge. I think I've decided to do it in Star Mazda. I really enjoyed that series. Beyond the one that you saw, I did another week of it off camera. Again, I really enjoyed that race, so that's what I'm leaning to for now. Uh, it's gonna cost me some money because usually there's quite a few tracks that I'll need to buy, but I think it's gonna make for a good video. I think it'll probably make for a more interesting series than did the, the Advanced Mazda. Probably not as much door-to-door -door racing, uh, but it's certainly a much more intense style of racing, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. That will probably be in June, though. I think that's when the next season will start in June. But hopefully I'll be able to run a couple more races here uh, in the off-season, if you will. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to this month is getting started on the 240 project again, basically. <laughs> uh, I do have an autocross coming up this weekend, and that's going to be with Brent in uh, in Shimmy Sham, not in Red. Uh, previously known as Slater, but I think Shimmy Sham has taken over the name of that car. And that will be fun. That car is a lot different now than it was the last time I drove it. Hopefully it's running by then. As of right now, we still have the turbo and stuff apart. Uh, so we got like five or six days to, to finish that, but hopefully that happens. And then, yeah, it's time for me to really buckle down and start working on the 240 project. So I've been somewhat considering maybe starting like a, a Kickstarter or something like that to try and fund that project. Uh, I have leaned away from doing that. Uh, but I did have a very generous donation come in from Daffy, who is, I, I would say, was from the, the automation team, basically. Uh, they, they have always been very supportive of the channel and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, when I explained to him what the idea for the new project was, he got really excited about it and uh, decided to help out. So that, uh, that project has been aided in that fact. I have made a commitment to what I'm going to do. I'm not going to announce it yet, but I do know the the base financing that I need to raise to, to at least initiate it. So I'm going to wait until until that happens to really unveil anything. Uh, but there's tons of other stuff I need to do with the car. So before before I get carried away and start the the big upgrade project, I'd like to do a little bit of video about. Uh, the the rebuilding and the stuff like that, just going over some of the restoration that I want to do to the car. Unfortunately, there is no spec Miata races this month. I think June, the end of... No, I think it's actually the end of July. I can't remember. It's either the end of June or the end of July uh, will be our next race. So, so no spec Miata trips for a little while, uh, which is uh, good and bad. It means I will probably have enough free time to be doing uh, my regular video stuff, but I do uh, certainly do enjoy going out and working crew at those spec mount races. It is a awesome experience. Alright, well I think that's a wrap for this month's channel update. Probably more scattered brain than usual. You should be used to it by now, right? Uh, thanks as always for your support. We are... Oh, well, I gotta turn change lanes real quick. We are creeping up towards that 2,000 subscriber mark, so uh, that will be cool to see when it happens, if it happens, <laughs> and yeah, see you next month.